Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss the anatomy of the ethmoid bone. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Ethmoid bone is a small unpaired bone located in the midline of the anterior cranium. It is situated at the roof of the nasal cavity and between the two orbital cavities. Let's have a look. So this bone shaded in the green is the ethmoid bone. It contributes to the medial wall of the orbit and forms part of the anterior cranial fossa where it separates the nasal cavity inferiorly from the cranial cavity superiorly. So let's see how it forms a part of the anterior cranial fossa. This is the superior view of the base of skull. And this bone shaded in the blue is the frontal bone. This bone in the yellow is the sphenoid bone. And this purple shaded bone is the ethmoid bone. Now, as you can see, this black outlined part is what is called as the anterior cranial fossa. And these three bones take part in the formation of this fossa. Coming to the parts of the ethmoid bone. It is made up of three parts, which include the perpendicular plate, cerebriform plate, and two ethmoidal labyrinths. Let's discuss each of these. First, we will discuss the features and then we'll see their locations. Starting with the cerebriform plate. It is a rectangular plate fitting into the ethmoid notch of the frontal bone. And it forms the roof of the nasal cavity. If you want a separate video on the nasal cavity, drop a comment down below. The cerebriform plate is pierced by numerous olfactory nerve fibers, which gives it a sieve-like structure, which is called as the olfactory foramina. Projecting superiorly from the cerebriform plate is the crista galli, which gives attachment to the falc cerebri. A sheet of dura matter. Next part is the perpendicular plate. It is a part of the nasal septum and forms the superior two thirds of the nasal septum. Let's have a look. So this is the superior view of the ethmoid bone. This vertical plate which you can see is the perpendicular plate. This rectangular area marked in black is the cerebriform plate. And as you can see there is this sieve like structure called as the olfactory foramina. This is how the nerve fibers of the olfactory nerve pierce the cerebriform plate. This is the lateral view of the bone. And this superior projecting part is the crista galli. This is how it provides a point of attachment for the falc cerebri, the sheet of dura matter. Last part of the ethmoid bone are the two ethmoidal labyrinths. These are nothing but large masses located at the either side of the perpendicular plate. And they contain paired complex of bony air cells, anterior, middle and posterior ethmoidal cells. Let's have a look. This is the frontal view of the bone. And the part outlined is the ethmoidal labyrinth. These holes which you can see are the bony air cells also called as the ethmoidal air cells. The function of the ethmoidal air cells is associated with warming, humidifying and filtering of the inhaled air. The ethmoidal labyrinth is made up of two sheets of bones. The lateral sheet or the orbital plate and the medial sheet. The lateral sheet forms the medial wall of the orbit. Whereas the medial sheet forms the upper lateral wall of the nasal cavity. From this sheet, the superior and middle concave extend into the nasal cavity. Let's have a look. This is the coronal section of the nasal cavities. This is the orbit and this part of the orbit outlined in yellow is the orbital plate or the lateral sheet. This plate marked in the red is the medial plate. Lastly, this is the superior concha and this is the middle concha which extend into the nasal cavity. With this, we complete the anatomy of the ethmoid bone. So that is it for this video guys. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.